Hey guys, I'm Isil Khan and in this video, we'll be learning about the breadth and depth determination of the foundation or you can say of the shallow foundation. What does actually the breadth and depth of foundation means? Remember the breadth of foundation means how much wide should the foundation be, okay? And the depth of foundation means how much deep or how much should we dug below the earth surface. And let me just draw the diagram of foundation if I can draw it better. Let's say we got that ground level, the depth of foundation and the breadth of foundation. And remember the length of foundation is always taken as unit, okay? While we design the parameters of foundation, the length of foundation is always taken as unit. So now what should be the breadth or depth of foundation? Remember for the breadth of foundation, we have B equals L by P where B is the breadth of foundation or you can say the breadth of spread or shallow foundation. L is the total load acting on the foundation or on the soil mass, which of course includes the self-weighted load, live load, everything is included over here. P is the permissible bearing capacity of the soil. And of course, for the depth of foundation, we have a separate formula, which is D equals P by W times 1 minus sine of theta divided by 1 plus sine of theta and of course there is a square okay, of the whole thing all right where d is the depth of foundation p is the permissible bearing capacity again w is the density of soil or you can say the unit weight of the soil and sine of theta this is of course a trigonometric ratio okay where theta is the angle of repose and this can be from 0 to 90 degrees the angle of repose means it is actually a, a, a natural gradient or a natural slope okay when you uh, fall a soil mass okay freely from some height it will make a, a slope you can say okay so that slope is the rise and ratio which is of course a theta that's a simple all right and the next thing i'm gonna do is to give a solution to an example let's say we got this example design the breadth and depth of foundation for a 20 centimeter thick brick wall and blah 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 okay this data is given so i'll come directly into the solution and in the solution the first thing i want to calculate is the breadth of foundation which is of course b equals l by p and that is of course l that is known 25 tons one ton is of course a thousand kg okay this is the external load which is acting on the structure but of course, I'll assume the self weight is 1 ton, okay? So I'm gonna add 1 ton with this guy and divided by P, P is also known, okay? That is 20 tons per square meter. So 26 divided by 20, that is of course 1.30 meters, okay? So the breadth of foundation here is 1.30 meters. Now just going ahead by the depth of foundation, the same formula we discussed a few seconds ago okay so d equals p p is known okay that's 20 tons per square meter divided by w here as you can see w which is the unit weight of the soil or you can say the density of the soil which is 1600 kg per cubic meter but p is in ton in this thing the w is in kg so we're gonna convert w into tons okay as you can see, uh, if you remember, 1 ton equal a thousand kg, so I'm gonna divide 1600 by a thousand, which is of course 1.6. So 20 divided by 1.6 times 1 minus sine of theta, sine of theta that is known, okay, the theta, which is the natural slope of the sine or mass, you can say, and that is known, which is 30 degrees. So minus sine of 30 divided by 1 plus sine of 30, that's the same thing. And of course, we need to put a square over there. So when you do little mathematics with this, of course, we can get the depth of foundation equals 1.38 meters. That's so simple, okay? There's nothing complicated over here. So this is how we can determine the depth and breadth of foundation. And here is the final design or you can say the final parameter of foundation. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.